Capital City Development Corporation, CCDC, is Boise's redevelopment agency whose mission is to ignite diverse economic growth, build vibrant urban centers, and promote healthy community design. We can do a lot of beautification and a lot of wonderful things that make downtown look good and feel good and make people happy. What's happening here in Boise echoes many national trends. The move to live, work, and play downtown. This whole agency exists as a business proposition to reinvest and attract and catalyze more investment into the downtown core. In a once recovering, now thriving economy, CCDC is recording massive growth in the city of trees. We have almost $600 billion in projects that have gone through our participation program. A program that is the framework for the agency's long-term vision for the city. It's crucial that Boise's downtown thrive, and that's CCDC's role is to help, help developers, help investors, help other city leaders realize the vision. CCDC operates on public funds, and so we have to maintain the public trust. Creating partnerships for things like street improvements, general and transformative assistance projects, public-private project coordination, public disposition of CCDC-owned properties, has launched the agency into major projects all over the downtown core. We just need to do a great job at what we do, make sure we follow the rules of, of uh, urban renewal agencies in Idaho, and then just try to attract more investment and more interest. There are requirements uh, that the legislature imposes on all public agencies to ensure that there's the accountability there for the public money. And we're uh, very pleased to, to comply with those and proud of the work that we do. Part of the work is promoting a healthy community design. To do that, CCDC works through five key strategies. Economic development. Creating that place that might bring people into their business or ways to make those experiences better. Infrastructure. The agency really focuses on infrastructure as a means to attract more investment. Mobility. How do you get people to this wonderful, beautiful place? And then when they're here, how do you get them around? Special projects. Investments in public art, historic preservation, retrofitting, renovating, adaptive reuse. Uh, we try to get our resources involved. And placemaking. And basically it's the process of, of creating public places that people love. By focusing projects on these five key strategies, CCDC helps the Boise community thrive in a sustainable economy where an exceptional built environment and excellent business opportunities are in perfect balance. Since 2014, CCDC has invested over $27 million in public-private partnerships, which has leveraged over $574 million in private investment in the downtown. We're looking for that perfect balance of a built environment that's exceptional and excellent business opportunities. Balance in the community comes through careful planning and intelligent infrastructure. It's really quite exciting when the agency can partner with the city and expand the geothermal reach, for example, in downtown. We also do a lot of work with relocating and undergrounding utilities. In one case, that's helping us uh, clear some alleys and we're making some alleys more attractive. People tend to care more about the place when there's public spaces that they can enjoy. And we attribute that as one of the big reasons why so many people love Boise. Doing its part to make the city a vibrant and desirable place to live, work, and play, CCDC has a part in a long list of projects in downtown neighborhoods. The Afton is a condominium project that is going in on River Street, right kind of kitty corner from the um, library, between 8th and 9th on River. It's a two-phase project, so that'll be our first big influx of condominium units in that neighborhood. We think it's a super exciting project that CCDC initially owned the land and then we worked with the developer so they could develop it into something that is bigger and more interesting and more vibrant for that community. At 16th and Idaho are the Idaho Street townhomes. We participated in what we call a type one participation um, project, about $100,000 into streetscapes, which really enabled the developer to um, plat some of his lots early. Designed as a flexible live-work environment, the 1,500 square foot units are configured so owners can rent or share a floor. Buyers also own the land the home sits on. Then the water cooler, which is over on the west side, and that district is getting a lot of attention right now, and I like to think that the water cooler um, helped kind of instigate or spur some of that attention, but it is a walk-up rental product 
Local Contract is the developer there. It's 37 units and it is really going to offer a different type of rental product that's kind of on the outskirts of the main core but really is going to bring that neighborhood to a place that I don't think we've seen before. Ash Street Townhomes is a project in the River Street neighborhood with 30 apartments and townhome style units focused on the workforce. It'll be a for rent project, hopefully bringing in some three bedroom units, which we don't have anywhere else in downtown right now, or at least new units. Uh, maybe bringing in some families, having some open space with a little Christens Park adjacent to it. At 10th and Grove, the 119 luxury condominium development. CCDC is really excited about Grove Street and bringing it westward to the Linen District to kind of link what we call, you know, the Grove Plaza with the Linen District and 119 is one piece of that puzzle. They did a great streetscape and CCDC was able to participate just in those public improvements that will help the pedestrian be very comfortable. In its capacity to serve the public in the best ways possible, CCDC recognizes the need to adapt to change and plan for the future. CDC's first urban renewal district, the Central District, was formed in 1989 and has seen great success in igniting economic growth and development. It started here at the intersection of 8th and Grove Streets with a single tree. Downtown Boise has grown up around the Grove Plaza. The Grove Plaza uh, is just uh, such an excellent representative of what uh, urban renewal and CCDC has been able to do to downtown. Many of the projects in the Central District, the core of downtown Boise, can be traced back here, a gathering place built with the reinvestment of public funds. CCDC utilized an innovative type of public contracting for the Grove Plaza renovation called Construction Manager General Contractor, or CMGC. You're able to select a person who is the best fit for your agency, uh, the best qualified within any certain area that you've determined is important on that project. We took 12 months before ever picking up a pencil or putting in a shovel and talked to the community. What we learned from the public was that they wanted an enhanced user experience that is supported by modern technology and more features that they can engage with. What that resulted in is um, a new public Wi-Fi system uh, public restrooms. The fountain has a lot of the same characteristics as before, but it's way more interactive and the kids are going to go bananas over this thing. It's going to be great. It cultivates more commerce and more people want to come and invest and have a shop there and, and um, so the public's attracted there, the businesses come and you get a nice mix. The public investment has really spurred a tremendous amount of private activity that makes the difference. Adjacent to the plaza is a brand new convention center expansion that CCDC, along with our partner, Greater Boise Auditorium District, has financed. So when you combine that with what the Gardner Company has done with BRT, with the Main Street Station, and with bringing Boise State downtown and Clearwater Analytics, you know, jumping in and making its world headquarters right there on the Grove Plaza, it makes for a really incredible economy. After 30 years, the Central District reached its sunset. The additional tax value that has been generated from redevelopment efforts will go to the existing taxing district starting in 2019. During the life of the district, there's seven taxing districts. They continue to get this amount of property tax revenue. The theory is it's going to take a while for some activity to happen, but over, the, over time it will hopefully get to the point where it does really start taking off. That comes to CCDC, and that's called the increment value. And all this money goes be right back into the district. The increment value of the money generated from property taxes in the downtown core and used for public improvements inside this district now go back to the community. That includes uh, the city of Boise, of course, Ada County, Boise School District. And there's also the Ada County Highway District, the Emergency Medical Services District that overlays the entire county, as well as the Mosquito Abatement District and the College of Western Idaho District. And as the Central District area moves off the list, the CCDC team looks ahead. Part of CCDC's planning process is looking at what has worked in the past and building toward the future. 
So the agency is involved in parking and has been for a long time, but we're really broadening our scope to include more aspects and elements of mobility. Through participation programs, CCDC can help offset costs and some of the risk of development. The CCDC participation program is really um, a policy that's in place so that CCDC can help with public-private partnerships to bring more investment into our urban renewal districts. So there's a handful of different ways that we are very comfortable doing that. So for example, for the Fowler, uh, the apartments that are going in in the Live District, CCDC was able to participate by purchasing a deck of parking. So essentially that helps bring the cost down for the developer, but it also provides CCDC with much needed public parking. CCDC also struck a deal with Gardner Company's Pioneer Crossing to add more needed parking, but solutions to accommodate the growing population of commuters and residents in Boise are still very much in the works. The biggest change is the occupancy levels in the garages. We've gone from 55 to 60 percent occupied where we had to keep our rates low and hope that we could coax people into the garages to just a tremendous demand. So we're exploring that park and ride shuttle as a temporary parking solution. A 1.6 million dollar solution. It's a decision we're not taking lightly. We want it to be successful. Hotel construction is also playing a big part in the changing landscape and dynamics of downtown development. That is just trying to beg people to come downtown. People will live here and then the new hotels that are part of our participation program as well will have people in their rooms at night too. So we'll have all of these people downtown and that's one element I think we've been missing trying to build towards an 18-hour city. And as the city grows, CCDC plans to continue finding creative ways to meet the challenges of the greater downtown area, ever expanding its reach to include projects that will tie this community together. We're looking at the bench. We're looking at creating another stadium district down on the corner of uh, Americana and Shoreline, you know, taking parts of two districts and, and new area south across the river to create a new district. There's still a lot of requests coming into us and we're still really in many different discussions with big exciting things that are going on. And everything we do is really to drive more investment and to help make all of the little small local economies in our downtown area thrive and be successful and then that contributes to an overall vibrant and dynamic downtown. CCDC, catalyzing economic growth, urban development and healthy community design.